Just a second, that was only supposed to be about three seconds. Oh, <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome to the forums vlog 2. We've got loads of cool things to talk about today. We're going to be talking about the Stussy holiday drop, global launches on Friday. We've got loads of nice pieces to talk through. I'm going to do that shortly. We've got the new Hundreds collaboration with the Nightmare on Elm Street. It's going to be a sick collaboration to talk through Bobby's latest creation from his mind. So I'm quite excited to talk to you guys about that. I want to just mention about our Union in the Community project. It's on a pre-order at the moment. We're going to go a little bit more in depth into the reasons why, how, and uh, the inspiration behind it. And on that note, I was um, interviewed this weekend by Swindon Men's Mental Health. Uh, it's quite cool, part of their new doorstep diaries. Cool, so let's go over, let's kick it off, let's go and have a look at some Stussy. Cool, so Stussy Holiday 20. As you know, I'm a massive fan of Stussy. I'm buzzing, I buzz every time we get a launch. So this is a great little drop, just in time for Christmas, which is banging. So we've got the OG stock logo hoodie, got this in four colorways, got that premium embroidery, just takes it up another little notch from a print. Got loads of seasonal, a couple of seasonal colors and a couple of classics. Got the old global roots with the old crown, kind of burly gear, back in the day, 90s uh, print. Got some real nice poppy colors. Bang in there. Got the pigment dye range. So anybody that's had a pigment dye t-shirt, it's a few extra quid, but it's pre-washed. It's got a completely different feel on the yarn. Really nice, again, three cool colors. This is a nice, again, nice little embroidered hoodie. I think it's a slightly more old school Stussy tag. Don't know if I'm quite right on that, but I'm loving it. Really nice kind of OG color, gray, and you've got the pink. Got a real nice pile lined hoodie. With a nice double zip hook, nice double zip feature. Killer, got that in two colours. Got that Global Roots print coming through on a hood. Again, real nice colour pops. Um, this, I've got my hands on this straight away. It's this season's Sherpa vest. As you can see, it's got a bit of a kind of navajo -y kind of vibe. I'm loving it. Real nice patchwork pocket on the, on the, uh, on the pocket there too. Finishing off with quite a nice little detail here. Got some cool messages, some nice little slogans, live an extra large. Thank you ever so much, your friends at Stussy. Real nice seasonal t-shirt, definitely worth a pop. All of this is all online now. Go check it out, the forum still at Cody UK. How's it going guys? So Bobby and the Hundreds have teamed up with Warner Brothers to put the gnarliest street that we know into their newest collection. So the Nightmare on Elm Street and Hundreds collaboration was a special drop designed for Halloween. Obviously with the global pandemic, we got our delivery a little bit late, but it's available on our website. It's a real cool uh, colorways going through it. Obviously the Freddy colors are loved by sneakerheads, uh, first introduced on the Dunk many years ago. A lot of people um, fell in love with that because it was so hard to get hold of. And a lot of people that still have that shoe probably don't actually have that shoe, if that makes sense. Uh, more recently, we've just seen that on the 95, uh, which came out over Halloween. So there's jams there for people. Um, they've taken the OG Freddy on a nice classic black t-shirt, reoccurring theme on the green, which is obviously similar to the jumper that he wears, and then in a crisp white. This one in particular has his claw hands, which I'm wearing today, so he's got a nice big back print there, and the front is exactly the same as what I'm wearing. You've also got the old VHS cover, which is pretty cool, and with the tagline, never sleep again on the back. So a real cool, creepy collaboration. Like I said, a couple of weeks late, but it's here, it's online. Swipe up, do what you gotta do. See you soon. Just touching base now about the unity in the community and the Swin and Men's Mental Health project that Kay's involved with. I don't think these projects could have come any time more, more synchronized to be better. The unity in the community t-shirt is on a pre-order now. It's in collaboration with the store, an artist from London called Mr. Foma. It's on known blank products, so the fit is banging. And yet, yeah, it's kind of like a message that, that, that really, really means something to all of us here uh, at, at the forum. You know, we couldn't be in a more poignant time about unity, bringing communities together and supporting local businesses. 
So what a great way. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I can talk about it for ages. We can talk about it yeah, for yeah. ages. But you know, I've never. I, I, I've been a, an advocate for supporting local business and, and, and support your local for years, way before you saw it on the news. So this T-shirt for me, saying you need the community, man, is just something that like I don't care if anybody like doesn't like it. I love it. But to be fair, we've sold loads on pre-order and get at it. They're going to be launching on the website at the end of the month. It's a wicked project. Yeah. And to touch base on the Swindon men's mental health thing. It was quite cool that they released uh, that interview at the same time as we're doing this thing. Like you said, it goes hand in hand. Yeah. Uh, before anything, we are a community store first. You know, you'll come in. There's bright lights here. You'll, you'll see really cool clubber. You know, and it's really cool that draws you in. But afterwards, it is us talking to you guys. You guys talk to us. You know, with these shutters down, it's been pretty hard for us not to speak to everybody every day. You know, we are people. Persons? Yeah, people, 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 people. Yeah, we're people's people, so you know, we do miss your visits, we do miss you guys coming in and chatting to us. Um, obviously with the interview that I did, uh, it was more, more or less focused on what I'm doing to preoccupy my time, what you can do to, you know, take your mind off of being locked down, use this time to better yourself as a person, throw yourself into projects, have fun, stay in touch with your friends, stay in touch with us man, like, you know, we're only a DM away, we say this all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, we love actual DMs, we love, like, we love that you care about us, and obviously you guys know that we care about you. Yeah, we just got off the, we had FaceTime a couple of customers this morning. Yeah, man. Uh, we're there. Yeah, if anybody's at home, anybody wants to chat, anybody wants to get anything off the chest, bring it on. Yeah, we're always here. Well, kind of. Ish. Maybe yeah. at home. <laughs> Definitely, we, yes. Maybe on the backdrop, <laughs> but we are always there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Always yeah, but there. Here, but not here. Always there. Not always here. Um, so yeah, so look, go check out the website, obviously support your local, go and check out Swin and Men's Mental Health Insta and on their um, Facebook page, Kay's on there, um, do his thing. Um, thanks for watching guys. <laughs> <laughs> I just got in your eye! I just got in your eye! That was eye. close! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got nowhere to go with that. I just, Andy just spat in my eye. <laughs> Tiny little bit. <laughs> Now, all I wanted to say was um, look after yourselves, stay safe. See you guys soon, hopefully. Peace. Take it easy, guys. See you later. <laughs>